You can stop and start a pump automatically with the trigger of a spray gun by using a pressure switch. But a pressure switch can turn into a headache when not configured properly into your system. Things to consider when designing a system to run correctly with a pressure switch include flow and pressure performance of the pump, nozzle size, hose back pressure, trapped pressure and no internal leaks, the use of an overpressure safety device, and fluid compatibility. Now I'm going to draw a schematic of a simple pumping system with a tank, an inlet hose, a positive displacement pump such as a pump tech pump, discharge line, and a spray nozzle. The spray nozzle size is very important in a pressure switch system. You have to make sure that when all the flow is going out the spray nozzle, the pressure does not go over the setting on the pressure switch. If you were to install a pressure gauge at the pump and another one at the nozzle, you would get more pressure near the pump and less pressure out by the nozzle. In addition to this, if you have a very long hose, you will get more back pressure and there will be a bigger difference between the pressure at the pump and at the nozzle. For instance, if you have 100 PSI spraying out your nozzle, you may need 130 PSI at your pump. Then if you install a pressure switch in the line, uh, which is typically near the pump, you will need the pressure switch to activate at a higher pressure than the pump is seeing. So in this case, something like 150 PSI. The pressure switch will sense the trapped pressure between the pump and the nozzle. You need to trap the pressure with a check valve and a spray gun. This trapped pressure will only stay trapped if your check valve is a positive seal and also your spray gun doesn't leak past. Another thing to consider when using a pressure switch is the use of an overpressure safety device. Here I'm showing a regulator with a discharge back to tank. Since this safety device won't be used Typically, unless there's um, some other failure, you can actually run the discharge just out to atmosphere. I would recommend the overpressure device be set higher than the pressure switch. Um, in this case, maybe 170 PSI. The last thing to consider is fluid compatibility. If you are pumping a chemical, uh, you need to check the chemical compatibility with all the components, tank, inlet hose, pump, check valve, regulator, pressure switch, uh, gun, spray nozzle, discharge hose. For more useful tutorials like this, please subscribe to the PumpTech Academy blog at www.pumptech.com.